Welcome to Everyday Math, Home Link 3.6, Room Perimeters. Please read through the family note before beginning this home link today. Your pace is the length of one of your steps, so a student should be taking individual steps throughout their room. In number one, find the perimeter and paces of your bedroom. Walk along each side and count the number of spaces. The perimeter of your bedroom is about how many paces in this portion here they put how many paces they had around their room. And number two, which room in your house has the largest perimeter? Use your estimating skills to help you decide. So the students must guess or estimate which room has the largest perimeter. Most oftentimes it will be the living room or maybe the kitchen. Its perimeter is about how many paces. So after making the estimation of which room is the largest in perimeter, they should walk around the outside walls of that room or the carpet or the transition pieces of your kitchen and living room or dining room connect to find their perimeter and paces. And number three, on the back side, they need to draw this room on the other side of the sheet. Plan to share your drawing with the class. Write these problems on the back of this page. So they need to use part of the page to do the problems on the back. Make sure that they read the entire home link before they draw the whole <laughs> living room on the back side of their page. Fill in the unit box. Write a model, write a number model for your ballpark estimate. Use any method you wish to solve each problem. Show your work. In the first one, their ballpark estimate should be 40 plus 10 is 50. Any way they want to solve, if they do 38 plus 9 is 17. Carry the 1 is 47. In number 5, 143 can be rounded to 140, and 37 can be rounded to 40, which equals 100. Then to do the actual math, 143 minus 37. Students should know that 3 minus 7 does not work, so you will borrow or take away. The trade first method from second grade turns into a 3. Give the 1 to the 3 becomes 13 minus 7 is 6. 3 minus 3 is 0, and 1 by itself is 106. In the last problem, 576 minus 67. They can do 580 minus 70 equals 510. To do the actual math, 576 minus 67. 6 minus 7 does not work. They borrow. 7 becomes a 6. Carry the 1 back. 16 minus 7 is 9, 6 minus 6 is 0, and the 5. So your answer is 509, very close to your ballpark estimate. And a lot of times they like to use dogs for the units. If you have any questions on the home link, please contact me by email or by phone. Thank you.